All right, guys. Here he is. He's going a little crazy, but oh, you can see how he has changed so much since when I first got him. But he's a little crazy, so I'm gonna put him in the bucket now. So, gave him a little. The, the water is shallow. I gave him a little bit of a rock to rest on uh, because now, obviously, he's breathing air. But that's where he'll be for a little while. I take him to a, a new pond where he can thrive, hopefully reproduce. Make some more salamanders because, like I say, salamanders are awesome. And this is a really cool one. So, I'm gonna take off and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, we are going to let my salamander go today. As you can see though, that we have two in here. The, the big one is the one you've been watching for a while. And this little guy right here is one we were able to find actually. But it is time to finally let our salamander go. So we're going to take him down to a creek and uh, let him go off into the wild. In the back of the Kubota. And uh, he's going to live a happy life in the creek. Okay, guys, we got the two salamanders, the one I raised and another one that we were able to find. And we're going to let them go into this creek right here. Um, as you can see, the water is pretty shallow, so they have a little area to come up. Um, if they need to and then a deeper part as well. So you got so many rocks around here too where they can go in and hide uh, anytime and I think it's gonna be a perfect spot they can easily get out on land if they wanted to or just hang out in here. So right now I'm gonna take them down put them in the shallow spot and we can watch them walk swim away or whatever. Okay guys here we have two salamanders a nice shallow pool for them of course they got a deeper pool they can go into Tons of rocks for them to hide in as well. So I'm just gonna put them in the shallow water and we can see what they do. Like I said, this guy right here, I think this, this the big one is the one we raised. And then we found this guy under some tarp stuff. I wasn't able to record, but I'm pretty sure, ooh, there's a frog over there. Was that you? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that they are east. I don't know if they're the same, um, I believe this the smaller guy is a lot more mature obviously because he has a lot of yellow spots on him you can see that right there I think they're eastern tiger salamanders if you guys know better you can tell me let me know in the comments below but I think our guy I don't know he see he's I don't know if you can see that's hard to do this with one hand but he is starting to get some spots um, of yellow on him and I think uh, he's still growing a little bit but he's lost his gills obviously um, and will be on land soon. It's possible they could be the same species. I'm a little doubtful just because of its sheer difference in size but they still have similar yellow spots. Uh, you might be able to see it on his tail. Come on. I don't know if you guys can see it all. He's pretty dark still but we're gonna let him go and uh, it's kind of a sad moment, but I am excited because of what the tank is going to turn into after this. But this is pr and a pretty amazing experience uh, to raise a salamander um, all the way up almost to maturity. So pretty crazy moment, and we're going to take care of that and let him go right now. Okay, I'm going to let the one that we caught go first. Here he is. Well, he's just sitting there. See, he's fully... This guy was found, like I said, under a tarp. So he is very used to the land. He, he crawled out of the water already. And ours, the one we raised, has not gotten on land yet. He's out of the water. He's gonna find a nice moist place to hide. This guy, let's see what he does. He's a little bit more crazy than uh, uh, the one we just let go, so. Okay. So it looks like they're both pretty, they moved to the shallow water. I'm gonna put them out a little farther, see what happens. They're pretty vulnerable. Um, 
being so close to the uh, shore, but he's taken off, yeah. He's swimming on his own. I think he's gonna find a nice place to go. Look how cool he is, wow. But, wow, he's crawling up. Crawled up straight on the land right there. He's gonna be safe, I think. He crawled up on land like it was nothing, so that's pretty cool, guys. I'm so glad I was able to let them go here. And uh, I think they're gonna live happy lives, don't you think? I think so. So, that's great. I think this creek's gonna be a fantastic home to them. It's just perfect. There's minnows in there, but they're not big enough to, you know, nip at nip at them or take their arms off or anything like that. See, if I were to let them go by my house, they would have been destroyed instantly by fish. So, having this this being a very safe habitat for them, I feel very confident that they're going to do very well here. Um, perhaps reproduce and make more salamanders in the future. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Please, if you like if you like this video, subscribe, like, turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload, and. Uh, this was a blast guys. Leave a comment down below. Anything you want. What did you like about this video? What do you want me to do in the future? So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in that next video. See ya.